All right, so today we're going to be talking about the CSS inset property. Now, this is a newer property that's been added to CSS. And when you're doing things to combine relative and absolute positioning, um, typically you use top, left, bottom, and right. So these four properties of what we're using to position the element that is positioned absolutely inside of something that's relative. Now, the inset makes this simpler. It makes it work like the padding and margin properties. So let's take a look at how this works. So I have a web page here, which I've started. I have two sections. Inside of each section, there's an H1 with some text. Now, right now, I'm using uh, display flex. I've just created a row, and then inside of each, there's a column with the two elements. Now, what I want to be able to do is I want to, for this example, take these H1s and position them inside of these pictures somewhere. So in our CSS, you can see, or the HTML, we can see we've got the section with the H1 and they have EIDs one and two. So jumping into the CSS, let's go down to the section right here. Now, normally what we would do is we'd say, okay, in the section, we're going to be using position relative. Now, this is not going to move the content anywhere on the page. So I've saved it, I've refreshed it. There's nothing new here, just the two elements. But it does give us the ability to move the content inside. Now, position relative would let me move this content away from where it normally is and leave that space open, but I'm doing it just so that I can position this thing inside. So with the section, position relative, I can go into the H1 and set this one to position absolute. Now with those things combined, you'll see there's a little bit of a change here where the absolute is now folding around the content. It's, it's wrapping around the content inside of it, whatever the content is, this little bit of text. So it no longer knows how big its container is, so it has to fit the content that it's holding. So that's what it does by default. Now to position it inside the section, we would typically use top, left, bottom, and right. Now I'm gonna put these inside of here. So I'm gonna say from the top, I'm gonna to be one REM down. The top edge of my H1 is to be one REM away from the top edge of its container, the section. And then the right side we'll say is going to be also one REM. The bottom, I'm going to say it's going to be 300 pixels. And then the left edge, well, let's make it something a little bit different. Let's say 4 REM. So these are now going to be the distances for each of the four sides of our H1. There it is. The top is 1 REM. The right is 1 REM. The bottom is 300 pixels. And we've got 4 REM over here. So that is how far away we're moving each of these. If you don't put one of them, that's fine. I can leave the left side off. It drops in to wrap around the content. If I take off the bottom, then it's no longer going to be placing the bottom edge at that point. Instead of being 300 pixels down, it now drops to its default, which is wrapping the content. But I am positioned here and here. With the inset property, we can achieve the same thing with one property instead of breaking it up into these four. So I will say inset. Now, if I start with just one value, like I was saying before, this is the same as padding and margin. We're providing one value. And if there's only one value, it applies to all four sides. So there we are applying on all four sides, the one REM. If I give two, so this first one is the top and then the right, and then there's nothing for the bottom, so it uses its matching one. And then there was nothing for the left, so it uses its pair, the right. So I'm going to be four REM in on the left and right, one on the top and bottom. Oh, I've got to save this. There we go. So four on the left and right, one on the top and bottom. And if you want to put three, we can put three. If you want to put four, we can put four. So let's do what we were doing before. We'll say 300 pixels on the bottom and then on the right hand side we're going to boot, put that for rem like we did originally there we are okay see, let's move this to one so it's the same as what we originally had over here so same approach 
Now, I don't have the leave off a value and have it automatically drop and wrap around the content, but if you know what the values are going to be, or if you know where you want to position it, it is a quick and easy way to do it with one single CSS property inset. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.